hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a text file or how to write to a text file using go programming language so the first thing I want you to do is open ID or text editor and create one sample.go file so I have Visual Studio code open and I have created one sample.go file now here I'm going to write my code so first thing package main and inside I'm going to create main function okay now inside this main function I'm going to create the variable let's say file that is going to be created and error okay and we will ask OS package to create this and let's name this our file at golang.txt it will be created in the same folder where our sample.go is created now I'm going to put on one condition that if error is not equals to nil then I want to execute one code which is log.fatal and I'm going to pass we got error and then our error variable okay now here I will use differ dot or some place differ file dot close okay now outside this context we will add our format dot f printf so that it can write to the file and let's say our file variable is file and let's add contain devnami youtube go lang tutorial okay just save this and you will find that it imported format package log and os so log is used here for reporting our error os is used for creating our text file format is used to write to our file okay so what we did here is first we created this file using os.create and then we checked in if condition whether error is value have more than nil or not nil and then we are adding this log if there is any error and in differ we are saying close the file if there are any errors okay and then if there are no errors then jump directly to this statement and print out this content on our file and then exit okay so let's take a look at this open the terminal okay now here make sure that you are in same directory that adds sample.go file then type in go run then sample.go and hit enter okay now it will point you if there are any command line arguments error. so we have undefined file in a file class so file.close simply replace this with file.close okay now let me come back to the console and run the code again you can clear this as well so that it looks okay now it returns with blank prompt so it doesn't print anything on console and that means that your program executed perfectly so simply go to your explorer now let's find out our file golang.txt okay so here is my golang.txt i'm going to double click it and here you see devnami youtube golang tutorial if you can see this text and you can have this file golang.txt that means the code in our video is working properly 
okay you may have minor issues with let's say this file dot close just like i had here that's why there was terminal error but you can correct that with turning your capital file into lowercase okay now you can try this on your own